So now in this video series, I thought we would add a circuit where we take an op amp here and the output will help uh, indicate the uh, battery level if it is too low. So we're not using a battery, we're using a power supply. But a lot of lithium batteries, as you get uh, close to uh, 10 volts, it's a good time to stop using it. And you're going to see some flickering. That's just the uh, power supply. I'm bumping it since uh, we already uh, really noticed that. I'm just going to take a, a 470 microfarad capacitor there, put it across the supply rails, and uh, hopefully we won't run into that problem as much. So in any case, I have this set somewhere about 10.2 volts. The uh, output uh, should change there. there. Now it's red, and if we go lower, it's red. So we could add other circuitry that would uh, cut the supply from the power because battery will keep draining as long as there's a, a power. Uh, I didn't mean to go down. But uh, in any case, we're keeping this one simple. So we raise the voltage now above 10.2 uh, there. We got back to green. This kind of indicates that the battery is higher than the level that we set. So of course there's many ways to improve this, but uh, this is a simple circuit. Now a important voltage for this circuit is 5.1 volts. We're using a 5.1 volt Zener diode to get that and uh, when current flows through it, well it's reversed by it, it builds up that voltage. And that's going to the non-inverting input uh, which is the lower pin when it comes to the inputs even though it's the higher pin on the schematic. Be aware of that. Our signal voltage is half of the supply voltage. Our signal voltage is going to the inverting input. Since the signal is going to the inverting input, this is an inverting comparator. But in any case, we're using uh, two equal value resistors, 10,000 ohms works well. So you'll get half of the supply voltage to the inverting input there. And of course, we had that voltage that we set before, 5.1 volts. 10.2 uh, volts is twice that much, so it's half as much. If you go higher than 10.2 volts, it will be higher than 5.1. If you go lower than 10.2 uh, volts, it will be lower than uh, 5.1. That's why the 10.2 uh, volts was uh, where the output changed. So above about 10.2 volts, we got above uh, 5.1, so that's higher, which means the output will be lower. Hope that makes sense, the green LED will light up. When we drop below about 10.2 uh, volts at the supply, it'll be below 5.1 volts there, so it's lower than that one, so we have a high output there, red LED lights up. So this is a short video series, I'm gonna keep this short and end it there, hope you enjoyed.